Yo, what's up? So, as you all may know, Jung Julie is getting a buff and Infinity Tower just reset yesterday. I just checked and there's three flaws that you will have to be mindful of. Before the update comes around, if you want to lessen the burden on yourself, you should do Infinity Tower right now because in floor 4F, there is one Jung Julie. Actually, there's two Jung Julie in the uh, boss phase. But uh, the good thing is he's not a boss. And then there is another one in floor 5. This one is also pretty annoying because at the start of your turn, you are silenced and then the enemy is also immune to AP down and they gain immunity. So you need a lot of slots for you to really fill that up. And then lastly, floor 9, which is um, again immunity and then uh, the attacks have a chance of inflicting stun. So I'm going to show you uh, some teams for floor uh, 4, 5 and then 9. This one, floor 4, is also quite annoying. All enemies are immune to controls. And then when an enemy dies, the remaining enemies attack and defense are in increased. And then at the start of their turns, their cooldown have a chance of being reduced. With this floor, you can run this uh, almost completely free to play team. You can run ERA for the AP control. The enemy is not AP immune. Sander also works very well. He's a free to play unit. And you can fill this spot in for any unit. Uh, any DPS unit you want, you can even run Embla but I'm just gonna use Sander so uh, if you don't have any options then you can use him Magni he is here for the extend uh, cooldown ability You, if you have Bonnie at uh, R6 you can use Bonnie or even below R6 is also fine the best would be Elliot Elliot to reduce the cooldown of JJ to the max Nusi also works in this spot but I'm using him because he's free and then Sachiko is also free. Uh, she's very good because she reduces your cooldown and also provides the speed up and the attack up for your sender. And then Lucas for more um, AP controls. You should really do this uh, Infinity Tower right now because once uh, the update rolls in, JJ is going to have a buff that makes him immune to AP down on his second skill, right? It's going to be a lot harder for you to clear the infinity tower stages there is three in particular the rest of the buff doesn't really affect all that much um, there is a stage with like donar but it's not really going to be that difficult because you can uh, just ap control him to hell and also like stuns him it, donar is not really going to be a problem for you this team requires a bit of tries but it will eventually get you the clear his uh, nick is pretty good because he is Every time he lands the cooldown up on his S2, he reduces his cooldown. And whenever he applies the silence, he also increases his AP. So he cycles very well. And then once you get to this point, you can just auto it. Um, so yeah, again, he's a free to play option. If you have Nusi, if you have uh, Bonnie, they are going to be better, Elliot, and all sorts of stuff. So a lot of improvements to this team if you have those units. You can, in floor 4F, you can just bring a Pritzker, or not Pritzker because they cannot be stunned, right? You can just bring one Bonnie and not like a, okay, <laughs> okay, I, I should really play Terjun. You can bring a, what's it called? One cooldown increasing unit, and then uh, just nuke. Because floor 4F, they don't really have that much HP. Okay, that's the first floor done. Now, with this one, you kind of want to spam your... Nyx S2 onto your uh, onto the JJ, um, one of the JJ as le at least to uh, make sure that you can kill him off quickly. Because if you leave him to last, then he could be a problem. Because if you kill off the rest of the enemy team, you can increase their cooldown, uh, their defense, and that could be problematic. Okay, this one was unlucky. The Lian got a turn, so I couldn't really. Um, kill them off I'm gonna do this and there we go we got unlucky super unlucky with uh, Nick and his cooldown increase but it's fine at the end of the day okay floor 5 is also going to be annoying this time around the you are silenced and enemies are immune to AP down and also gains immunity at the start of battle you're gonna want to have one of your slots to be Jin Yu Yao and you can run Pritzker this time around Gabrielle for the Immunity and attack down because Farah just does way too much damage and also for the defense up 
and this time around I'm using Bonnie. If you don't have a Bonnie, uh, you have to retry a lot of times by removing Gabriel and putting in Nick or something like that. Or if you can uh, run Nusi, then you run her. Uh, but the reason why I'm using Bonnie here because she dispels and also increase the cooldown on her S3. And then I have Jungman for the AoE damage. Yeah, the, the first stage is not really going to be a problem. But you still need to reset if you run Bonnie and not land the... Yeah, as you can see, I didn't remove the immunity on Nusi and I have to reset. If you want to have less resets, then you can run a secondary buff stripper. Uh, so that you can stun with uh, Pritzker. If you don't land the buff strip, then it's going to be problematic. Okay, I think this one is also going to be problematic because I don't land the um, stun on Raven. So she's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, never mind. If you don't have Bonnie, it's going to be quite troublesome because then you need to run what's it called Nick, which has a lower chance, uh, which has the same chance of buff stripping, but there's two flow type so you're gonna have to re-roll a, a few times for Nick to work okay again you need to hope that your Bonnie can land the there we go very nice then now we should be fine Pritzker extends the cooldown and then yeah we're good so without the defense up and the um, attack down Jung Man can just get one shot so you want to be wary of that and then at this point you kind of want to increase the cooldown of JJ if you don't increase this cooldown then you're kind of in trouble okay so I, I should kill off this JJ first because his cooldown is reduced or increase but this JJ if I kill him right now then I'm gonna be in big trouble because his cooldown is uh, not... Yeah, there we go. He got his turn. Now he's going to probably one-shot my Jungman or something. My Gabriel. And I can't really do any damage to him because Jungman is dependent on debuffs. There we go. Two of my units are dead. I am kind of in trouble. Yeah, that was a really close call. But we still managed to get it done. So that's floor 5. Jin Yu Yao. Uh, she does get the AP boost because of the silence so you don't really need to make her the fastest just enough to uh, AP push her to go first and then Pritzker is on the ocean set so that you can land the stuns more often Gabrielle is on you can put her on Tyranny you can put her on DPS set it doesn't really matter Bonnie is also on the ocean set and lastly Jungman on the DPS set okay floor 9 is the easiest of the bunch um, they only start with immunity and crit damage increases whatever and then the attacks that they uh, their attacks have a chance of inflicting stun so it's uh, super easy for floor 9 you can just uh, AP control them so ERA is going to be very good if you have Lucas again you can use Lucas but this time around I'm going to make it faster so I'm going to use um, Sander as well and that's floor 1 done again floor 9 is the easiest of the JJ floor because you can just AP control them. This one is a bit tricky because you cannot stun the Ahmed but it's going to be fine if you can just uh, AP control the um, Ahmed with your Sander. And there we go. That should be done. Um, don't worry if you haven't cleared it before the update rolls in. I'm going to try to make a video on the buffed JJ. With the buff JJ, we're also going to get a buffed um, Li Ling, a buffed Lucas. So it's going to be, it's not going to be uh, too difficult, but it's still going to be way harder than uh, the current Infinity Tower version. So yeah, that's about it. Make sure before the update rolls in, you clear the Infinity Tower to lessen your burden. And that's about it. Ciao.